Hi there, uh, this is Bren White, and uh, it's time for episode 5 of Never Give Up. We are here today, very windy day, um, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Battlefields are surrounding us here, and uh, these uh, people who fought here for our country, for freedom and equality in our country, um, they came here and they never gave up. Uh, that's why you and I get to have the freedom we do uh, in our country. Um, and um, so we are going to talk about a couple of things that are going to help us. God tells us directly. These things will help us to never give up. Now ignore all the noises. Uh, a lot of families, a lot of cars, uh, tour buses and stuff going by in different parts, um, and a lot of wind. Um, but I want to share a few things with you today that I hope will help you uh, to have the perspective that God wants us to have uh, all through this life. So um, the next two things that uh, we're talking about are... Um, Love, love, be loving, be loving, and be kind. They sound simple. These two things sound simple. But in fact, what we find out is these may be the two most important things uh, when we look at who God is, His character. When we look at who Jesus Christ is, we see this. We see that uh, he is loving and he is kind and uh, you and I need that example in our lives we need that modeling every single day because uh, in this world uh, there is not enough love not enough kindness and uh, so you and I need to uh, to be focused on this and it will help us to never give up um, the Apostle Paul uh, in uh, Colossians 1.18 uh, says uh, something about the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. Uh, this is very interesting because uh, this is part of what the Apostle Paul explains uh, to the Galatians in chapter 5 of his letter uh, where this is what the Holy Spirit of God produces. He's trying to reproduce the character of God in you and me. And uh, so this is uh, Romans 5, 5. God is pouring out his love uh, into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Um, this is what God does because it's who God is. So everybody who attaches themselves who follows Jesus Christ and becomes uh, part of the people of God, all of these people are learning how to love, genuinely love God and love others. Uh, this is, this is uh, crucial. This is crucial. Uh, Paul to the Philippians uh, in chapter 2, verse 2, says, Make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other. Uh, you know how much this isn't happening right now. Um, this is what God wants for his people. This is what Jesus the Christ prayed for in John 17. A unity, a unity, a love, a oneness coming from God's own character that would actually help us to glorify God, to reflect the love of God to the entire world and be a light to the entire world. Um, he goes on, he says, agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, that's how it happens, and working together with one mind and purpose. Uh, this, this is something that we need to move toward and be about in order to never give up. It changes our attitude, our perspective completely on what is going on and what we need to do, what we're accountable for. Um, there are other passages talking about this. Uh, God himself has taught us to love one another. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 9. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 1, 3 says, 
as we pray, we think of your faithful work, um, uh, loving deeds, and the uh, enduring hope you have, um, uh, we have on, in our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, this is, um, uh, we have it because of Jesus. This love comes to us through Jesus. He only came to find you and me in this dark world because of this awesome love, this genuine caring. Uh, we, um, we hear in, uh, the Hebrew writer uh, saying in, in 13.1, uh, live a life filled with love. Are you doing that? Am I doing that? Uh, I'm standing on uh, a ridge up in Pennsylvania uh, talking to you about never giving up. And uh, I need all of these messages just like you do. Uh, you and I need this encouragement, and we need to actively learn from Jesus Christ how to love like him every single day. Now, he talked about this uh, a lot, but he also, and he said it was his command, my command to you is to love each other. Uh, it's a very, very simple thing that Jesus was saying. But then in uh, John 13, Jesus demonstrates his amazing love for his first followers by washing their filthy feet. That is amazing. Um, but the Hebrew writer continues, live a life filled with love following the example of Christ. In John 13, Jesus says, I've given you an example. Now go and do likewise. Um, this is part of what helps us to keep the proper perspective and to be about the right kinds of things every day. This is what you and I were made for. We were made, we were designed, we were made uh, out of the love of God. And we we're made for love, we we're made to love. That's our purpose. Starting with loving our God wholeheartedly with all of who we are, and then loving our neighbor as ourself. Now this is, this is uh, the teaching uh, of the Word of God. Um, and then finally, uh, Hebrews 6.11 tells us this. Our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts. As long as your life lasts, you need to love the people around you. Love your brothers and sisters. Love them. And this means forgiving them. <laughs> this means uh, not harboring any resentment or bitterness. Uh, this is how love happens. Uh, God sent his son in order to reconcile us so that there could be peace. But it's through the love being poured out in his son. Um, so this is what uh, all of that is about. It's so that you and I can forgive others. We can love others. We can care genuinely for others because God has shown us. He's shown us. And this comes up multiple times. Forgive each other as I have forgiven you. Love each other as I have loved you. Very, very clear teaching from Jesus and the apostles. And then uh, the second thing is be kind. Being kind. Above all else, clothe yourselves with love which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Colossians 3.14 We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. Uh, okay, this is Romans 15, 2. What should you and I do every day? We should help others. If we're loving like Jesus, we should help others. What are you busy doing? We should help others. What else should we do? Do what is right. Do what is right. You, you know from reading the Bible those things that are wrong. From the Ten Commandments all the way to Galatians uh, 5, you know what is wrong and what is right. And you and I, every day, are supposed to do what is right. Help other people, 
do what is right and build them up in the Lord. This is going to take some energy. Uh, when you don't have the, the emotional energy even you feel like to get through the day, you and I need to look to God to receive this love that he's pouring out for us and take it in to our hearts in such a way. See the kindness and be thankful to God for loving us this way so that we can be helpful to other people. And we do want to do what is right. And we won't get sucked into what is wrong and all kinds of other negative things going on in the world. Be kind. Um, we know that the Apostle Paul taught in 1 Corinthians 13 that love is patient and kind. So these two go together perfectly. Uh, it brings harmony. Why? Because somebody who is loving is also patient and kind. They're actually trying to help other people. They're building other people up. They're trying to help people do well each day and stay strong in God. That's what you and I are supposed to do. Love is patient and kind. This is the opposite of being rude, for sure. You know how much people are being rude in the world right now? Being kind is crucial. Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, the apostle says. Um, there are other passages uh, in both of these. Ephesians 4.32, uh, which I just read. Galatians 5.22. The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. If you've been baptized into Jesus Christ, immersed, uh, buried with him in water to receive uh, your forgiveness of sins and to, to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit of God, if you have done that, you have the Holy Spirit residing in you and he produces these things uh, this kind of fruit in your living every day love agape love love pure genuine caring joy peace patience and kindness kindness what does the Holy Spirit of God bring kindness because God can bo be both stern and kind but he has described himself from Exodus 34 on, described himself, and we see it in the Psalms and all the way through the Bible, he has described himself as the God of love, the God of compassion, the God of mercy, the God who has unfailing love. You want to get through anything and everything? You depend on the God who brings to you each morning his unfailing love. That's the way it works. You know the psalm. This is the way it works. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. Oh, man. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it says. That's what it says. 2 Timothy 2.24. Um, a servant of the Lord must not quarrel. You know, there's a little bit of quarreling going on today. Uh, people are upset about different things. Be kind. You must be kind to each other, to everyone. Able to teach uh, with patience, uh, with difficult people, uh, difficult situations. Uh, this is how love helps us. The love of God anchors us and helps us to be patient and kind. So... Being loving, being kind are, are really um, vital to you and I uh, having the right perspective every day as we're walking through this life pelted with all kinds of things, all kinds of nonsense. The uh, world is filled with lies. Uh, you and I need to hear the truth of God, the words of God, the words of Jesus Christ, and hold on to them. Hold on to them nothing else hold on to him hold on to what he is saying and then you and i are truly his disciples says jesus himself i am so thankful for you and i am staying prayerful for you and uh, i'm hoping that all of these things are helpful to you uh, 
be loving, be kind, and you will be able to never give up. Never give up. Jesus Christ is able to strengthen you. You're able to do all things by the power that Jesus Christ brings to you and to your living every single day. God bless you. You stay strong. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.